Okay, I have separate videos in which I introduce you to the triangle centers in GeoGebra and some of the different features, how to change colors and save and different things like that. But now I'm going to make just one video where we put all that together. I'm going to create tools for each of the triangle centers and then see how they relate to one another. And I'm going to start by turning the axis off. If I right click, we can go into the graphics view here and I'm going to unclick show the x axis and show the y axis because for geometry I really don't need to see the underlying coordinates necessarily. Okay. So I'm going to start by making a triangle and I'm going to make it by making points. I'm going to turn labels off. Decide whether I want to show points. I'm not going to label anything. No new objects. We can always, if we want to label something, do that separately. Okay, and then let's get the segment tool. Okay, so there's a triangle. Let's create the centroid, the intersection of the medians, and then make a tool to do that. So I'm going to find the midpoints of the sides. And then connect those to the vertices. And we have the centroid. Well, let's find the intersection. And now we better show this label. That way when I make a tool I'll know what I want to see here. So I'm going to go up to Tools, create a new tool. I want the output to be the centroid, the point G. The input objects would be the triangle vertices. And let's call this tool Centroid. And for the help let's tell it A B, C so that we know what we're supposed to click on. And then I click finish and now we have the tool. So if we had another triangle we click on our tool and click on A, B, C we'd have the centroid. Okay, okay let's see. Let's go ahead and create the other tools and just leave everything in one picture for now. So let's make another triangle. This time I'll just use the segment tool which will automatically make points for me. Better show the labels. Let's see, so next let's make the ortho center which would be the intersections of the altitude so we need the perpendicular line tool from this vertex perpendicular to the line containing this side, this vertex to this side, let's see, so we've got this one, this one, and then this vertex perpendicular to this side, and there we have the ortho center. Show the label. So we have the point K. Okay. Now let's make a new tool to create the ortho center, which would be the point K. And the input would be the vertices of the triangle, H I J. And then for the name, let's call it ortho center. And the help would be to click on points A. I'm just going to say A, B, C, three vertices of a triangle. When we open a new sketch and open the tool, it'll be arbitrary what we've called the labels. Okay, so we now have the two tools. Let's move this guy over. And next, let's create the circumcenter, which would be the perpendicular bisectors that form that. We have a third triangle. Let's go ahead and label the vertices. So show label, show label, show label. And this time we need the perpendicular bisectors of the sides. They intersect at the point that we call the circumcenter. Let's find the intersection. Turn the label on and create a tool. Uh, 
Let's create a tool where the input output object is O. Input will be the three vertices of the triangle, L, M, and N in this case. And let's call this circumcenter. And again, the help, I'm going to say A, B, C, meaning three vertices of a triangle. Okay, we have one more common center, that being the in center, which is the intersection of the angle bisectors. So let's go ahead and do one more. Show the labels. Now create the angle bisectors. intersect at the point that we call the end center. Show the label. That's called S. Create one more tool. This time the output being the point S. The input being the three vertices. Name this one end center. And the help again, A, B, C, meaning three vertices of a triangle. So we've created the tools. Now let's save the tools. To remind you how to do that, we're going to manage the tools. And I'm going to save each of these. Save as. Now I have a folder where I've already created these before, but I'm going to just override it again. So if I'm doing the centroid, I could call that centroid. And you select the type of file being a tool.ggt, which is not the ggb file in entire construction, this is just the tool. So I would save the centroid, overwrite, do that for each one. I save the ortho center, which I could call ortho center.ggt. Let's save and overwrite that. And then the circum center and the end center, I already have them saved, so I'm going to stop at that. Now let's create a new window. Let me resize so that it fits on the screen. Okay, so in this new window, I don't have the the tools. I would have to load them, so I just file, open, and we're going to load these tools. Centroid, circumcenter. I also have a circum circle tool, but we want the circumcenter, the ortho center, and the in center. So once you've saved the tools, you can load them just by opening them. It'll take it a second and we should get the tool tool icon. Okay, okay now we're going to discover what's called the Euler line. So let's make a new triangle. And again, let's hide the axis. And I'm going to turn labeling off. But now let's take our tools. Let's make the centroid. So we just click A, B, C. Let's rename this guy centroid. Let's get the circumcenter tool. A, B, C. Let's rename this guy. Circumcenter and the in center. And then finally the ortho center and rename that one. Okay, so we have all four centers and we can look at the relationship. If you move the triangle around, you ask students to try to discover what's going on. And it turns out the in center is the odd guy out, but if we put a line, we could do a line segment, or if we do a line, it'll go through always the other three centers. And we call this the Euler line, which passes always through the ortho center, the centroid, and the circum center. Those are collinear points. It was discovered and named after Euler. 
So there's using GeoGebra to create what we call the Euler line based on the centers of the triangle.